Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video I'm going to show you real quickly how we've hooked up our fish finder. This is the same fish finder that we've been using in our Jackson kayak. We've put it onto our brand new John boat so that we could save money. I'm going to show you how we've installed this without drilling any holes into our aluminum boat. The less holes you have in your aluminum boat or any boat for that matter, the less likely you are going to take on any leaks. So real quickly, let's jump into this video. Again, guys, we're going to start out right here at the front of the boat. This is a Garmin GPS slash fish finder slash depth finder, and all the cords are running right here. The only holes that I've had put in the boat to mount this thing is this two, and this is going to be for the quick release ram mount for the bottom of the fish finder, and then the wires are tracking right along the side of the boat. I'm going to zoom in on this so you can see it. The power wire is going to be down here in a box. I'll zoom in here and I'll show you how I've got this box hooked up, set up right underneath the seat. And this has got one of those smaller, like 24 hour, 12 volt batteries that you can buy, those LiPo 4. I've used it on my kayak for many years. In fact, this is the same box that I use for the kayak to keep from drilling holes in it. And then again, your transducer wire is gonna be running around here to the back. And the big selling point on this is the transom saver. It's basically a black piece of plastic that glues on with 3M tape that is so strong you can u nearly use it as a step to stand on it, although they don't suggest you do that. But I'm going to show you that real quick, guys. It goes on real quick. I'll show you the process. All you got to do is scuff up the surface of the back of your boat at the transom where this plate's going to go. The one thing you'll see me doing is I had to find a spot on the back of this boat where it was level. You can kind of do that by sticking your finger in the center of the plate and then kind of move around and if you get any bouncing at all, keep shifting that around till you find a good solid spot. A lot of times what will happen is when they're welding up the back of your boat, especially on these all welded aluminum boats, your transom may get a little bit of a warp in it from the welding process. Essentially what you're trying to do is find the flattest spot that you can mount the transom saver, then you glue it on, you press it on, follow in the directions, you're going to scuff up the paint or you're going to scuff up the surface of your transom, you're going to use some provided alcohol wipes to clean all the residue off and then you're going to hold it on there for 15 seconds and then you're going to push on each side for about 15 seconds. So less than 60 seconds you can get that done and then they've also included some little cable clamps, I'll show pictures of that as well that go on with the same 3M tape and that way your wires aren't dangling around. You can buy additional 3M wire connectors to put it on the side of your boat, that way it's not flopping around. I purposely didn't want to run this underneath or through anything. I wanted to leave it on top so that way if I need to pull it off and put it back on my kayak, it'll be real easy to transfer it back over to the kayak. Again, guys, I was trying to keep this video short. I hope it's something that you found useful. Just another way that you can mount up all your stuff in your boat without drilling a bunch of holes. Again, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. Until next week's video comes out, be sure to check out one of the playlists up above for a video we've made especially for you. Guys, let us know in a comment down below, how did you mount up your fish finder? Do you like what you did? I know on my last John boat that I had, I put a piece of plywood, marine grade plywood, and I clamped it to the top of the transom and built a bracket that hung down into the water. It worked out fine for many years. and I didn't have any problems with that, but I really like how clean this transom saver works. It's quick, it's easy, it is a little bit expensive. I will put a link down below if you guys are interested. You can click the link below. We will get a little bit of money back from the Amazon affiliate link, but it's nothing you'll ever see. Again, it's just a small way to say thank you, or again, if, it's, if you found this video helpful, we'd appreciate you hitting the thumbs up button. If you don't like this video at all, be sure to hit the dislike button two times. That way we get full credit for it. Again, I hope each and every one of you have a blessed week. And let's get outside and make something happen.